Hello everyone, just wanted to show you a simple and easy way to create a tree query view using Azure DevOps. First thing you need to do is go ahead and select new query. That is going to bring up the new query screen. Next thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and change the type of query. To do a tree query, you're going to want to go ahead and select the tree of work items. This will give you a second set of filters down below the first set. In this second set of filters, the best thing to select is to match top level work items first, then to create the actual linkage and show the linkage between the parent and child relationships, you're going to want to go ahead and select parent and child as the tree type for the second one. And then you're going to go ahead and run query. I haven't selected any kind of different work item types or different states. You can do that if you want to narrow down the tree that you're creating. Um, the one that I'm showing here will show you everything that's in your current backlog from parent to child, whether it's been open, closed, currently active. Um, if you do want to see the relationships between, let's just say, features and user stories, that's where you would want to go ahead and change the work item type. Uh, to reflect that, um, only querying on, on those specific items. But right here, we're just starting basic. This is how you create your first uh, work item query for the tree view. Um, to save it, you're going to go ahead and go ahead and click Save Query. Um, if you want to have other people use this in, in your team to kind of look back and see how the work progress is going from a tree view, you're going to want to go ahead and save it as a shared query. If you save it as my queries, only you are going to be the one able to access that. So let's go ahead and select that. Let's name it something that means something to the team. So we're going to name it uh, project work item tree. And I like to put all at the end of most of my queries. That just kind of designates, hey, I'm grabbing everything. I'm not only filtering on active work items. If I was only looking at active work items, I'd probably choose tree active. That will just kind of remind me of what I'm actually looking at in, in the query. Go ahead and select OK. That's going to save your query. So to make it a favorite, you're going to want to go ahead and select this star and highlight it. That basically makes it a favorite so you can easily access it from the query favorite screen. Um, a good thing to use on this is the results screen. This will give you a quick preview screen of, of whatever item that you're highlighted on. If you wanted to go ahead and add to your current uh, tree view and add some um, different items as children, you can do that. Go ahead and select an item that you want to add a child to. Right click anywhere where there's no text. And about halfway or midway down, you're going to see link new work item. It's going to basically give you this uh, new uh, add, add link dialog box. Let's say we're going to add a um, UI task to this. Click OK. It'll bring up that UI task screen. Here you can go ahead and put it into specific uh, iterations, uh, make different kind of uh, changes to this particular work item before you go ahead and save it. And if you run the query again, you can see that that's been added down here. So add one more item here. It's a new work item. It's going to be a child. Let's just say that there's a bug now. Uh, let's say that there's a UI bug misspelling. Go ahead and click OK. That'll bring up the new bug screen. You can go ahead and make edits as you need to, depending on what the severity is and priority is. Put it into a specific iteration if you need to. And go ahead and click Save and Close. Run the query again. And now you can see that that's actually linked to a specific um, requirement. I uh, hope this helps you guys. I will be creating more content like this. Please like and subscribe. If you guys have any questions on this, please feel free to put a comment below. Um, and if you want to see a specific query, please go ahead and comment. Um, and I can definitely add that to this list. Thank you, everybody. Hope everybody has a good day.